and i hope all of you are keeping fine today i will be teaching you an activity which you can do when you sit free at home you know what is a net a net is a sort of skeleton or an outline in 2d which when folded results in a 3d shape you know what are 2d shapes they are flat shapes or plane shapes like a square rectangle triangle etc and what are 3d shapes solid shapes like cube cuboid cylinder cone etc for example this is a cardboard box what is the shape of this it is cuboid now take the scissors and cut all its faces and make it flat like this way this is this is side face and this is back and this is side and top is attached with one of the side so you will be getting six faces 1 2 3 4 5 6 faces okay so it was 3d now we made it 2d now let us see how to make the net of a cube you know what is a cube a cube has six faces and all its faces are squares so i made a net of a cube see 1 2 3 4 5 6 faces and all the faces are squares now cut off this and take the paper cutting off this net and fold it in the form of a solid so what is the name of this solid it is a cube because all its faces are squares now see how many faces are there 1 2 3 4 5 six six faces vertices 8 edges 12 how do you count the vertices vertices are corners 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and edges when you join two faces you will be getting an edge this is an edge now count and see how many edges 1 2 3 there are 12 edges now this is a cube now let us see how to make a cuboid first you will make the net of a cuboid a cuboid also has six faces so what is the difference all the faces are not squares see here these faces are rectangles so 1 2 3 4 5 6 fa six faces are there cut off and take the paper cutting of this this is the net of a cuboid fold it in the shape of a solid now this is a cuboid now see count and see how many faces six faces eight vertices and 12 edges why do we call it three dimensional because it has length breadth and height now let us see another solid shape called pyramid a pyramid is a solid shape with base as any polygon and all the side faces are triangles here first we will see how to make a square pyramid for a square pyramid the base is a square for a square all the sides are equal so first i made a square after that the side faces are triangles to make side faces bisect each side for this you know how to bisect it take convenient radius and from 
both side cut off arc and you will be getting you will be getting a vertex join you will be getting a triangle and there are four similar triangles join this four uh, take the paper cutting of this uh, uh, net join it now this is a solid shape of a square pyramid a square pyramid has five faces because base 1 2 3 4 5 total five faces vertices 5 1 2 3 and the top five total five vertices and what do you call this top vertex it is called a apex now how many edges are there there are eight edges you can count and verify now let us see how to make a hexagonal pyramid a hexagonal pyramid has the base hexagon hexagon has six sides and uh, all the sides you make uh, triangles by using compass take convenient radius draw arc from both the sides join you will be getting a vertex join you will be getting triangle and you will be getting six similar triangles and take the cut off paper cutting of this net join it you will be getting a hexagonal solid hexagonal pyramid when you make you use a chart paper so it will be stiff and uh, you can stick it very easily so hexagonal pyramid has seven faces 12 edges and uh, seven vertices so take it as a summer assignment and submit it when you come back to school thank you